This chapter of the Greek tutorial video series will provide an introduction to the features of Greek.net. In this video I'll be presenting on the methodology of Greek.net, some features of the main panes, and I'll talk about a couple important main menu options. It would be helpful to start off with a review of the methodology and terminology used in Greet.net. Greet conducts life cycle analyses by considering the full production pathway of products like transportation fuel. A pathway is a series of processes that comprise the life cycle of a fuel. Some fuel groups have a variety of pathways depending on the resources and technologies and processes used to create them. The model also takes into consideration the vehicles or other applications that will be using this fuel for energy, in many cases resulting in greenhouse gas emissions. By combining both of these portions of the fuel's life cycle, GREET calculates both well-to-pump and pump-to-wheel greenhouse gas emissions. To calculate emissions, a wide variety of factors are included when modeling the production pathway. These include stationary and transportation processes, material and energy inputs called resources, the type of technologies that are used to consume resource inputs and create energy or material outputs, and the mixture of multiple pathways that represent percentage shares of the supply of a particular product, known as mixes in Greet. Now that we have some common language to describe some features of Greet, let's look at where we can find some of these features. As a review, Greet.net has four main panes, well to pump, well to wheels, data editors, and simulation parameters. Greet.net opens on the well-to-pump or WTP pane. As the name indicates, well-to-pump results for a fuel pathway can be found in the well-to-pump pane. This is where users explore results for a pathway, mix, or selected processes. And we'll discuss this pane a bit more in just a moment. The well-to-wheels pane is where users explore vehicle technologies and well-to-wheels results. A vehicles menu on the left, similar to the products menu on the well-to-pump pane, lists all vehicle technologies available in Greet. And on the right is a display of results for a selected vehicle. The Data Editors pane is where users can add or modify parts of a fuel pathway with user-specific data. Parameters that can be added or modified include resources, technologies, processes, pathways, pathway mixes, transportation modes, vehicles, and emissions. The Simulation Parameters pane contains very specific input parameters that apply to certain fuel pathways. A user can specify here the heating value or the modeling year for a simulation. And on the right we see a number of tabs containing tables of uh, values that are similar to tables you might see in Greet Excel. Now a bit more on the well to pump pane. In the upper left of this pane, we see a product menu where we can select a product to review. Products are categorized alphabetically, so we can scroll through the menu to find a product group of interest. We can also search for a product group, for example, diesel, and by clicking on the green icon next to the product name, or by double-clicking diesel, we find a sublist of diesel products. If we click on conventional diesel, we see another sublist of various pathways relating to conventional diesel production. If we click on a pathway, a flow diagram representing the pathway is displayed on the right half of the WTP pane. This flow diagram shows all processes contained in the pathway 
and within each process we can see inputs and outputs of that process. An output is always found at the very end of the diagram. The most important feature of the WTP pane is that energy use and emissions results for a pathway are located here. Results can be found in the lower left of the WTP pane. We can see that results are presented in terms of energy or emissions per 1 million BTUs of conventional diesel output for this particular pathway. Emissions are listed first in the results window and we see that uh, the air pollutants and greenhouse gases listed here are the same ones presented in summary tables in Greed Excel. And below the emissions, we see resource inputs listed individually as well as uh, grouped by fuel group. Now just a couple closing notes regarding saving and opening GREET files. In order to save and manage your work, you should keep track of the file your work is being saved to. To save your work, click File in the menu at the top of the screen, then click Save or Save As. Greet sessions are saved to a .greet file on your computer. By default, Greet will start up and open the default .greet file typically located in your My Documents backslash greet backslash data folder. To open a different file that may have been saved in a previous session, click File, then click Open a Project, and then navigate to where the project was saved. Thanks for watching this chapter of the Greet tutorial video series.